Hey guys, Papa Pete back again. It's another time to play a game for our high score challenge on Astro Smash Mondays. And today's going to be a little bit different kind of game. Huh? It's going to be Frog Bog, the Tell in Television original. Kind of a kid's game, but it's a lot of fun. And some of the more difficult levels are pretty challenging for anybody, not just kids. Uh, so this one, actually, uh, we're going to play at the most difficult level. We're going to play a run through the day. Uh, but it's going to be at the level uh, where you actually have to control your own uh, direction that you jump, distance that you jump, and you have to control your own tongue with the with the side buttons on the controller here. Take a look. There's the overlay that I've got in here. I actually did an episode of the 125 on Frog Bog already. It was episode number eight. So don't forget after you watch this video to take a look at that. This isn't going to be a real long video because the game is timed. It's uh, three minutes. No matter what we do, it's three minutes. So that's how long it's going to be after I stop talking and start playing. So uh, don't forget to go check out the 125 on Frogbog afterwards if you haven't already seen it. And if you have already seen it, eh, go watch it again. It's a lot of fun. Uh, some of the history of the game and the gameplay from it. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's go on and play some Frogbog. Here we go. going to play it on my uh, Ultimate Flashback. All right, so there it is. Uh, let's go right in. All I have to do for the difficulty is I'll hit the day button when I get the menu screen here. And then I, after the game starts, you actually have to change the, the difficulty by hitting the direction and tongue button on the bottom. You got fixed arc, easiest, directional, where you just control the jump. That's medium and the directional and the tongue, which you have to control is the most difficult. Third button over. So I'm going to hit the day button. It's going to go to the day game. And then I set the, the uh, difficulty. Here we go. All right. And I'm in the water already. Haven't caught anything yet. After 10 seconds, that... Uh... Ah, there we go. After 10 seconds, the... Uh... The uh... computer player takes over the frog if nobody's moved it. So... Oh, there I got him just before I went to the drink. That's pretty good. 50 points already. Where's the flies, please? There they are. Ooh, that's good. It's awful. Oh, thought I had that one. And climbs back out there. Oh. Oh, got that big score of mine. I went in the went in the drink, but that's okay. Oh, got that one done. Actually doing a pretty good game here. 115. He's oh, that's just the first one he's gotten. 15. Wow. Ooh. Right across the screen here. Splash. Splash. Lots of swimming anyway, but it's a frog. Who cares, right? Okay, so it goes through day into dusk. Then it goes in the night, and it really gets it goes it gets over at night when the stars come out, and you'll see the frogs go to sleep. All right, then we're doing not doing too bad here. Oh, thought I had that one. Splash, one forty. Got to get going here. Not doing very well lately. Started off good and slowed right down. Get out of there. Shoot. There we go. 155 is not too bad, I guess. A little bit. 160. I think 200 would be a pretty good score in this, to be quite honest. Which... Oh, come on. Get something. 70. Oh, get on there. 180. Where's our fly? Get him a fly. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I like it. I'd love to get 200. Oh. A little bit early with the tongue on that one. Not going to get there, I don't think. No, that's it. Just a couple seconds with the fireflies. and See how they flash? It was pretty. You see the... Oh, that's it. That's it. So 180 is my total. 
At least I beat the computer. Uh, not bad. A lot of fun. Now that croaking keeps going forever until I hit the reset button. I'm not going to hit the reset button on that, but I'll switch it back to the other screen and the sound will go away. There it is. All right. So that was Frogbog. I got, what, 180 points. Uh, not too bad. That's the hardest level. Um, I didn't play this game when I was a kid, uh, which is really is kind of a kid's game. So it's back asswards, right? But uh, it, my brother-in-law wasn't interested in the least, so he obviously didn't get this game, of course. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really mean a whole lot because a lot of the games were fun. And this game's fun anyway. And it's really, uh, especially with the scene in Grandma's Boy, where they actually have the competition where they play Vitale and Television Frog Bug in the contest there. That's awesome. I have that in my 125 episode as well. A little clip from that, so I'll show a little clip here too, but more on that in, in that video. Uh, don't forget to go back and check out that 125, and even more importantly, don't uh, forget to check out Astro Smash Mondays every Monday night at 7 o'clock on DJC Game Studios. That's 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And it's always Chuck and usually myself and Jeff from Go Game Go on there. The three of us have been doing these challenges. Uh, we usually go out there and talk for an hour or so, however long the chat wants to go, about old time and television games. We set up new challenges. We talk about homebrews, uh, all the different stuff going on in the Intellivision scene, the original Intellivision scene, uh, because we all love that game so much. But anyway, thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Next week, probably, for the next Astro Smash High Score Challenge. Astro Smash Monday's High Score Challenge. Anyway, take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of What's up, 50, DJ you don't have to. You're watching Papa P, the old guy gamer. Yeah. Remember the 125? One of my favorite things. What the hell?